All right, guys, welcome to this video. Thank you for watching this video. So let's change your view on business and systems, right? So as you go through this program and as you watch this video, you know, the outside world will begin to shift for you, especially once you finish watching this video. And now you're going to start to view all types of things as businesses, as systems, because I personally believe that the world is everything in the world is a business. No matter what it is, there's a business, there's a system, there's a process for it to work well for you to even be on your phone to watch this video, to watch this video on your laptop, to watch it on your computer, wherever you are watching it, a system had to be built. There had to be a business around it in order for you to enjoy the things you enjoy, whether it's the food, whether it's how quickly you get to make the food, how you eat the food, whatever it is, there's a business and there is a system, right? So you'll start noticing massive inefficiencies inside of businesses that you go to that you hear about and that you work with, right? So I want you to take this seriously. And you know, the the best people in the world, um, the best people at what they do, they, they can't turn this off, right? It allows you to hone your craft 24 seven, 365 days a year. Like me, I typically see everything as a business and as a system, and you will become this way, right? You can look at it as a curse, or you can look at it as, you know, something that allows you to hone your craft, right? If you look at it as a curse, then stop watching this video right now because you're going to start to see everything as a business and as a system, right? So over, you know, every time I hear a business owner that gives their customers their personal phone number, you know, I kind of want to scream at them because it's like, dude, why would you do that, right? Giving customers your personal phone number and let's say it's just one or two, but if it's five, 10, 15, 20, you're never going to get your time back because you're going to constantly be responding to messages, constantly be answering phone calls, right? You're never going to have time to do any type of work, right? And this is because both the amount of work required to identify, build, and manage systems, and really just the disease of short-term mindedness that plagues the world, right? Instead of spending extra effort building something that will make, you know, our future lives easier, most entrepreneurs or people, you know, they would rather settle for an easier life right now right? And it's okay. This is why you have this job in the first place of being a growth specialist. It's to make people's lives easier, your life easier, and the businesses that you work for to make their lives easier, right? It's important to be aware of these different things, right? A system is a procedure, a process, and a method, or a course of action designed to achieve a specific result, right? Its component parts and interrelated steps work together for the good of the whole, Right. Creating effective business systems is the only way to attain results that are consistent, measurable and ultimately benefit customers. Right. So what many business owners fail to realize is they already have business systems. They are just massively inefficient. Right. And a lot of times you in your life right now, you have systems that you've built that are just inefficient. That's why you cannot wake up in the morning. That's why you don't go to sleep on time. That's why you don't eat on time. That's why you do everything late because you don't have an effective system for doing these things. Whether it's waking up, what you do first thing in the morning, what's next, what's next, what's next. Mapped out the day before, you're spending your time in the morning, oh, let me brush my teeth now. Oh, let me let me open my laptop, let me start writing, let me do this, let me do that. Instead of, okay, I wake up, I do this, I do this, I do this, I get to work. When you build systems around your life, it makes your life easier and less panic, right? And efficient, Business system eliminates waste and inefficiency. It gives you the exact same result every single time. And the more efficient you make it, the better, right? Whether it's in your everyday life or in your business, right? Great business systems can help cure low profit margins, employee dissatisfaction, high churn rates, which is people leaving the business, weak growth, and so much more, right? So the point of the system, right? The point of the system is so that there are no more seat of the pants operations, employee discretion, and just you want to leave generalized solutions, right? So, you know, you want to organize around business functions, not people. You want to build systems with each business function, right? So you want to let systems run the business and have people running the system, right? People come and go, but the systems remain constant. Right. And so this is basically you hiring the right people. Right. You have a system around hiring the right people. So now anytime you need to hire someone, you have it and they're ready to go. 
right? So for a business owner, let's say they need a new sales rep. Let's say they need a new appointment setter. Let's say they need a new growth specialist. Let's say they need a remote integrator. Let's see anything they need. Building a hiring system around that specific thing will make hiring for that specific role a lot easier. And then having a system for them to just get to work right away and understand what to do, understand how to do it. Now it makes it easier to hire new people, right? So, and what Michael Gerber, Gerber, I might be pronouncing his name wrong. Basically, he says that businesses have three main systems, right? It's kind of like a stool with three legs, right? You have the lead generation, you have the lead conversion, and you have the lead fulfillment, right? So you want to build systems around those functions so that it helps relieve a lot of the burden of work someone has to do manually. And because there's so much less work, you know, less work manually, when a business has to hire people, it becomes cheaper. And in case those people leave, it's not the end of the world, right? It's important for you to understand so that when you're working with business owners, you know, you understand why the work you're doing is important, right? So a few great books on business systems are The 4-Hour Workweek, E-Myth Revisited, and The Everything Store, right? Like, dude, could you imagine if Jeff Bezos had YouTube back in the day and he was just recording every video of, hey, guys, I'm going through this right now. You know, I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but, you know, we're going to do this today. Like, could you imagine how much something like that would sell for to just have Jeff Bezos and just watching him build Amazon into a billion dollar empire. Imagine every billionaire building their billion dollar empires were recording every single video and just posting it out, posting it on YouTube, showing how they built those systems. So the everything store is a great book. You know, I like to listen to podcasts and audiobooks, but if you want to read it, it works as well. Right. So a great video right here is also linked on the importance of systems inside of businesses um, by David. You know, it can be found right here when you click the link. Um, so let's continue. Business systems should look to drive profit. Anything short of that is unnecessary, right? You want to have the right infrastructure for literally anything inside of a business. You're not a business owner unless you have the right infrastructure, whether it's getting the work done, getting leads, closing sales, closing deals, getting people to get having satisfied customers, right? To have a business, you need people, right? So when conducting market research, and, you know, from my own experience, you know, one of the biggest weaknesses I found with the operators slash in integrators, you know, and not even integrators, I'll say really just specialists, right, is their obsession with systems for the sake of systems, right? You become a robot that seeks to systemize everything inside of a business, regardless if it's necessary or inefficient. There is only so much energy available, right? Time and capital, right? That's what's considered energy. So be sure to look for the best use of your time and the company's resources, right? Look for the best use of your time that will increase your output. And you want to do the same for the business owner. How can you give them back their time so that they are more effective in what they're doing for the business? And then if you're doing this for other employees, how can you give them their time back so that they're more efficient in what they do so that they produce more for the business and the company, right? And this can be done with your personal life as well. So start paying attention to the systems or lack thereof, you know, around you in both your professional and personal life, right? Personal life, right? This could be grocery shopping. A good way to, you know, stop doing that is Instacart, right? They do it for you. Cooking meal preps, you know, you can order them. You can order meals. Cleaning, you can hire a maid if you want, right? And, you know, laundry as well, right? You can have um, really anyone. You don't need to be doing this. You can have a personal assistant or maybe someone else can handle it for you, right? I'll just erase this, right, et cetera, et cetera. So even in your professional life, right, with emails, you can have an assistant, meetings, Breaking down to one meeting a week if you need to, right? Editing, you can outsource that, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right? So businesses that you can look at, McDonald's, they have great systems. A good movie is I think the founder, right? Amazon, another business with great systems. Meal prep companies, they have great systems, right? Warby Parker, another one, etc. There's so many of the you can look up all these maps, even Facebook, they all these big companies have effective systems that you can look up 
pay attention to and just watch and learn from. All right, so that's it, guys. Great job on watching this video. Thank you for watching. Keep going.